your primary education. Some of us did, took seven years to do primary education. You took four years, am I right? Yeah. You did that? Yeah. This is where we say, where we were talking about grace. Um, because in that situation, uh, so as I said, I went, I started school at, in Gokwe, went to Konmara, tried to get into grade two, went back. And then, um, I think that was around 2004, um, the villagers decided, let's start up Huruza Primary School, which is more like we're converting a farmhouse, an old farmhouse into your school. And um, the house was taken by someone else. We had the barns or whatever the farmer used to keep his, 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 his poultry. Mm. So there weren't enough rooms for grade one to seven. So grade one and two in one class, three, four, five in another class, and grade six, seven, one in another class. We were given three teachers, um, and we were said, okay, you have a school. So by this time, I was grade two. I have a brother, Muku. Um, he was four by this time. So because there was a prerequisite number of students that was needed, they said, let everyone come to school, even the four-year-olds, they'll be going to grade one so that we have the numbers. So Muku comes into this class, and... Um, so we are very competitive because remember I'm coming from a very masculine family. family. So Mugu always thought he was better than me, right? So I needed to prove to Mugu that you're not. Because he actually used to say, I'm now your father. Since you know, it is not the end of me. I'm now your father. So, so, when we, so now we're in the same room. We have the same teacher, although the teacher is teaching grade twos and the grade ones on the other side. And so Moku would actually like abandon his work and try to come answer questions for grade two. So that when we're at home, he could say, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I was answering questions she didn't even know how to do. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, that, <laughs> that just did not sit well with me. So the following year, when I then went to grade three, I was now in a different class. You're that, much more senior than that. Than Muku, because now the grade one and two classroom was separate. So now he was now in grade two. I was in grade three, but I was in a different room. Mm. So um, happens, I don't think, I, I wasn't told about it, but I do think it was deliberate from one of my teachers. Uh, his name is Misty Vimisai. He gives me a grade four question paper, because remember we're in the same classroom. Mm. We're learning different things, but we're in the same room. So... He said it was a mistake he gave because we're not in the same room. Mm. Uh, but I get a grade four paper um, <laughs> and I score, it was a math paper and I was naturally good with numbers. I score 100% in this paper. So I'm like, oh, this is an opportunity for me to run away from Muku. <laughs> so the next day, I ask him, like, you know what? I was number one in grade four last day. Uh, I did well in that work, paper. Can I write my exams with grade fives? So I'm like, okay, fine. Let's give it a try. So they actually thought it was just me just trying to write exams. So I just wrote exams with grade fives, became number one in grade five. Wow. Uh, so the following year, uh, everyone thought I was going to grade four mm -hmm. because I was coming from grade three. But I thought, but I was number one in grade five, so I should be going to grade six. Mm -hmm. And the teacher sat me down, They're like, you know what, um, school is not just about you being able to figure out problems for your grade. It's also about socialization, being with your peers. But being with my peers meant I was going to be with Muku in the same <laughs> class again. <laughs> so I'm like, uh -uh, that will not work. I put on a show, um, said I'm no longer coming to school. And, you know, they said, you know, what, there's no harm in trying. Let I go. That's when I go. then went to grade six, then grade seven. <laughs>